All right, everybody, we are the next day of the build. We have removed the uh, Luan paneling and carpeted side there, and now we're just figuring out, uh, taking a look at what wiring to run here. And things are going to slow down a little bit now on the build because we need to uh, carefully have all the wiring. Uh, some of it has to be sheathed. Some of it can just be run, but... Uh, uh, the big issue is attaching. We want to be able to have a backer for the table here that the slots, that the tabletop sits down on two, two pocket slots on this side. And the leg comes out here. Uh, so we're going to need a, besides, we only have one point of strength in this whole side. And that's resting on the wheel well back here, this 2x4. And it's, I'm sure it's secured. And it's frame bolted here. That's pretty good. That's pretty strong. Now we need to run an upper one across here, and then uh, then tie in tie in some vertical member up here to notch in to notch in behind here. We're gonna have to notch a two by four, so it's a really tight fit up in that uh, area. Hopefully, we can get the two by four down behind uh, here and resting on the floor for good support. So that should be uh, that should be very strong. There are really no ribs to speak of on these vans. I know Marshall talked about ribbing before, but there's really no, you know, the ribs are like that, maybe that on here. So you want to put an inverter for to take that, uh, to take that, uh, to be able to charge a laptop and, and do all that up here without having to run your generator. So you're talking about adding another uh, house battery. Uh, adding over. a second house battery. Yeah. So I'll have two batteries. I'll be able to run the, the furnace because it has a 12 volt fan in there without turning the generator on. <clears throat> having the ability to run a television on two batteries without a generator and having the ability to run your laptop and charge multiple devices without having to turn the generator on so on two batteries that. and an inverter. So. I don't know where the inverter is going to go, but the inverter is, uh, and having an extra battery is essential. So, and we need to make sure this is a much stronger point since this is a seating area now. It did hold the jackknife sofa over here, so uh, we're going to run another support underneath of there and uh, make sure that's good and strong. We have to run another member here underneath for this this seat here, and figure out where we're going to uh, start the second seat. Uh, over here, so there's some uh, there's definitely some engineering issues to be uh, covered off here We need to make sure that's all waterproofed the back of the false generator here, so We're waiting on the uh, converter box and distribution the new distribution panel uh, This is for the uh, speakers there and this is for the uh, thermostat So yeah, we've managed to uh, remove this piece of Oh boy, we managed to get this off more or less in one piece. And my preference would be to just back this with a new piece of Luan to strengthen it. This was around the, uh, the window area. So yeah, we've got, uh, I think we got our work cut out for us here on this. So the most important thing now is uh, making sure we have some strong cross members here to attach the backing for the uh, the backer for the uh, table and then uh, we also have to have a, uh, a foot plate down there that covers that side once that's waterproofed we need to secure uh, that onto there also so there's there's uh, there's some work ahead of us here all right, another uh, shorty day on the uh, build due to weather conditions. Yesterday I did uh, take advantage of the nice hot weather to go ahead and uh, work on repairing this uh, window frame here. It had multiple cracks in it now that you can see that the uh, it, it still has to be trimmed back and finished. But uh, it has now made it really nice, this frame, and it will be suitable for putting some finish on it and some filler. Doing a little cutting, and that will be uh, great. Now, inside of the uh, coach here was a busy day. The most important thing we had to do uh, today was get some type of backing for a dinette. Now, backing, I mean, something that a dinette table could be 
attached to. Hello, Marshall. Hello. Good evening. And uh, our idea was to build basically a frame here, extremely strong, uh, that would do two things. Make a good surface for the finished panel to go on and accommodate the frame that has to be reattached on here. It had to be strong. It had to be uh, engineered so that everything will fit back on the um, on the uh, windows, and it has to be strong. So you can see that this is all wedged in here at the top, and it sits on the base down there. And uh, I think it's going to be excellent when the wall panel is put in here. You can demonstrate, Marshall, yeah. how strong that is to be able to support a. Uh, yeah. Uh, back on a lot of for a kitchen for a kitchen table. As you guys can see here, if Rosie can show, there's four of these. What do they call them? I think Rosie knows the name of them, but they're bolts that have lug nuts on the back. Well, they're standard machine screws, yeah. uh, hex screws, zinc hex screws, and uh, I had to counter sink them because if we're going to be putting paneling back over this. And there's and nuts on behind there to hold Nuts them. behind there captivating it so and i think she'll be capturing this up here also somehow yeah we'll be capturing that with but, some uh, sheet metal uh screws this is going to give this is going to give the uh, wall panel here and the table and the frame here for the window a lot of uh, uh, strength here yeah than what it had before because all you had was that beam down there at the bottom yeah that's all we're building off so, of that was the only uh beam we had so we've done a very strong here yeah i'll show you guys what this yeah, one ahead. It's yeah, grab it down there, and that's where your kitchen table, right? You know, that is monster hooked on. So, we right. only need some drywall screws on this. We'll bolt this to the uh, bottom frame member here. This is uh, actually wedged in so tight, there's no need for uh, for right. any further fixing. I may have to cut this back a little bit to accommodate the uh, window, window frame, frame yeah. that remains to be seen. But uh, the important thing also, spacing is critical on this. This has to, uh, this has to be two and three quarters inches um, out here, this distance. The distance has to be the same on both sides here so that the frame will sit e uh, evenly on there, the wood box and then the, the uh, final uh, plastic and fiberglass uh, frame. So all the heights are critical. We mark them out very carefully. Uh, so that we can put a uh, two by two on top of this ledge and then we have support once and for all to really tie that window frame and exactly. you know because that before that floated right. on the Luan and um, yeah. you know it's it it just wasn't a really this is, this is gonna give the yeah. uh, wall panel and the frame for the window and uh the plastic frame from for the window, the wooden frame for the window, the wooden rod that holds the curtain, mm -hmm. and all the the, uh, the uh, thermostat, everything else that is attached to here, it's going to give it a lot of strength and uh, it really improved the. Uh, yeah, you you uh, now have some decent attaching surfaces, right. uh, for putting for putting uh, metering gauges on there, level level checkers and things like that. Right. You had the idea to now mount your speakers up on the uh, head end of these cabinets in here, which I thought was a pretty, yeah, I've seen pretty Fal good idea. I've seen Falcon do that. So if you put the yeah. speakers up here, it's going to look like it came from the factory. And another yeah. fixture over here yeah. to make it look uniform with the coach where you could uh, get. And then you also have uh, this area and this area to put additional fixtures. Yeah, you can put one up here. You can put one there. You can yeah, put you one have right a lot here. of look at all the surface that you have to exactly. actually uh, uh, attach to that, exactly. and the uh, Luan will fit really nicely and Table come up will go over, over here. here. You can also yeah. have uh, you can also put outlets over here if yeah. you want now across the top here on so, that uh, member. So. Yeah, the, the outlets can actually be uh, you know countersunk. You can actually. Hide your 120 below the kitchen table so you can just plug in down below and not have it above and it's a little unsightly above and you can just plug it in down below right. the table and have it uh, hidden. This took a while today. You cannot, in my opinion, and I know Marshall gets kind of frustrated sometimes because, you know, I mean, he's great to, he, he, you know, I'm going to say it again. He worked very hard. I'm not bullying these boards into position and stuff. He is... 
And, uh, you know, it requires a lot of measuring, measuring, cutting, measuring. and very detailed uh, fitting in here. Because you're working in three dimensions. You have exactly. to make sure your distance to the wall is right. correct. You have to make sure that your distances across are correct and they're level. And the up and down uh, distances and too. And if we so. wanted to, we could put even another board down here for attaching other devices. Yeah, we will actually board. level that up probably. with. We will fit another right. piece of board uh, in there uh, if we need to, to bring that up a little bit. Or right. if it's just going to, I mean, it, actually that's going to be the surface for, uh, you know, attaching the uh, kitchen table on there. But... Now we have a multi-use surface here. We can add some wood to the middle to raise it up if we need to, right. uh, which we probably, in fact, will uh, will do. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased today. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know. When you put uh, a paneling back over this, big deal. I mean, nobody's going to get in there with a fine tooth comb and inspect it. But we've respected the insulation on the coach to a very high degree in here with doing uh you know minimal removal of that and as i said before i had to put these bolts at the uh, uh you know at a good level here we're going to be framing in the uh framing in the seat and all that here so we need to have room to kind of uh you know make sure that our seat goes in there and uh you know we can cover that and you know put the uh, put a nice finish on that the the, the uh, benches will sit there and we'll figure out how to uh, get them fit in so they look good so there it is another day of uh, work and I think it was a pretty successful one yes, today it was so, a great day great you tired project. I'm kind of tired today. yeah I'm you know? kind of tired yeah yeah it's yep. a lot of work uh, in and out tools and all that stuff so all right guys thanks for being along all right.